Julie Maxton, welcome to the University of Huddersfield. Thank you very much. It's such a privilege to be here. You currently are the executive director <laughs> yes. uh, of the Royal Society. That's great. Uh, we've just had Brexit. Yeah. Um, just tell me a little bit of the, about the challenges that are going to face uh, the Royal Society and perhaps research in general in this country. So there's two major challenges after Brexit. The first one is funding. Um, the UK, for its science base, gets more out of the EU than it actually puts in. So it's a net beneficiary from EU funding and it would be really um, distressing for scientists if they thought they would lose that. And the second thing is mobility of researchers. Science is an international um, game and all researchers need to be able to go to live and work where their scientific interest takes them. So we've got two major challenges around funding and mobility. And there's a third challenge around regulations, um, but that's of, of probably of a second order. And, and you, you, so it's a challenge, mm. two challenges. Yeah. Overcome, can you overcome these? Yeah. Well, we're optimistic that um, we can get science at the table for the ne negotiations, which are, are forthcoming. And we're optimistic that there will be a resolution on the mobility point because there are uh, so many EU nationals in the UK with families, dependents, etc., that uh, we're optimistic that there should be some kind of a settlement which would give them some concrete assurances that they can stay here now that they've become embedded in the UK science. Now, you're the first uh, woman to be the executive director at the Royal Society. You were also the first woman to be the registrar at Oxford University. Yeah. Um, but you don't see yourself as a role model, do you? Well, I, insofar as I see myself as just doing the job in front of me, and if it's offered to a woman, then I think that's great. I'm really enthusiastic that women should achieve and get into top roles. But I think, uh, I always say to my students and to others, bring on the day when people don't remark on it being a woman because they don't remark when a man is a top, getting a top job. They don't say, oh, it's a man, but they do still for a woman. So I think we've got some way to go. So I'm very enthusiastic about supporting young women and I do it practically every day. And I, th I believe now you're in, is it your fifth year at the Royal Society? That's right. Um, what does, uh, what's the next role? What, 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 where do you go from here? Are you going to oh. be with them for quite a while? Yet? Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. I've had five wonderful years with Paul Nurse, a Nobel scientist, as the president. And now um, I've got uh, Savenki Ramakrishnan, our first Indian president, also a Nobel Prize winner. So I'm really enjoying it. And as long as I enjoy it, I'll um, just stay where I am. We hope you enjoy your ceremony today. Thank you so much. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.